Hello learners and welcome to Constant Learners. In this video, we shall be discussing the difference between the border and the outline property in the CSS. Now, whenever we define an HTML element like a heading or a paragraph, and whenever we define a border or an outline for that HTML element, the border comes immediately outside the HTML element, okay? And the outline comes outside the border, okay? So the innermost thing is the HTML element, like the heading or the paragraph. Outside that will come the border and outside that will come the outline. Subse under hamara jo bhi HTML element hai wo hoga, uske bahar border aur uske bahar outline, okay? Now, both border and outline both have four sides top right bottom and left and the properties for both are also similar like the first and most important properties is style border style and the outline style if we do not define the style for both border and the outline it won't show up on our web page okay we are going to demonstrate that when we uh, check the output also the other things that we can define is the border color and the outline color of our own choice then we have the border width and the outline width we can define the width of both the fourth properties for the both are different for the border we have border radius with which we can define the rounded corners and for the outline we have the outline offset which will provide some gap between the border as well as the outlines okay now let's head to our text editor and uh, uh, let's check out the output on our web page okay so now we are in our text editor as you can see i have defined a div container here within which i have a heading and a paragraph and i'm going to define the uh, border as well as the outline for this div container okay right now my output is this okay let's head to style.css and uh, make changes to our style the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to select the body and i'm going to set the margin and padding to be zero okay now let's select our div and we're going to set the margin to be 10 pixels and um, padding to be 5 pixels okay now let's save this okay so our container is ready let's now define the uh, border and the outline okay so as i told you the first and most important property is the border style okay if we do not set the style we won't get the output so for now, I'm going to set the border style as empty. I'm going to keep it empty. I'm not giving it any value for now. Okay. Now let's see if we define the width and the color. Do we get the output or not? Okay. Width I'm defining as 5 pixels. And uh, border color I am defining as uh, crimson. Okay. So let's see that if we don't uh, define the style, and we only define the width and the color. Do we get the output or not? Let's save this. And uh, see, there's no change in the output. Okay, now let's change the border style to be solid. Okay, let's see if we get the output or not. All right, we have our uh, crimson 5 pixel solid border here now. We can have multiple different values in place of solid. We can have dotted border. Let's save this. And this is our dotted border. We can have a dashed border. Okay. Then we can have a, a groove. Groove is a, a 3D border. Okay. And uh, two colors are used in the groove. You can see that top and left has outer color is dark and inner is light. 
whereas right and bottom has outer color as light and inner color as dark okay and the opposite of groove is ridge okay the colors will change see the top and left outer color is light inner is dark and for right and bottom outer color is dark and inner is light okay then we can have inset inset will also have uh, two colors it is also a 3d border okay for inset we have top and left as dark color right and bottom as light color and for the outset outset is opposite to the inset okay top and left will be light color and right and bottom will be the dark color another one that we can have is the double border okay uh, it will just give us double border here as the name says okay we have our double border the other values can be none that is no border at all and hidden wherein there will be a border but it will not be visible okay now we can define a shorthand property for all of these shorthand property means what Okay, here we can just define the border and define all the three properties that is style, width and color all at once. Like I want a solid border of 5 pixels and crimson color. This is known as the shorthand property. Okay, okay so this is the shorthand property. We can even define different values for all the three sides. Like uh, I can just make this as border bottom okay so see i have a bottom border here okay this can be changed to left right top anything this bottom can be changed to left right top bottom anything okay so i can also have border bottom and color and style suppose style i'll take the style here and style is suppose solid okay then I can define a border bottom color as yellow. Okay. And width border bottom width, I want to set it to be 10 pixels. Okay. Let's save this. Okay. So we can even change the uh, properties separately for uh, one particular border one particular side we can define uh, all the three like shorthand property for just one side uh, border also okay and we can have uh, uh, multiple different uh, styles colors and widths for all the four sides also okay like i can just copy this and uh, save it here and change the bottom to left right anything okay i'll have all the different colors and widths and uh, styles for all the four sides okay so I'm going to just uh, erase this one and uh, and save this to a solid 5 pixels and crimson. Another property that we have to see in the border is the border radius. Okay. As I told you, border, border radius gives the rounded corners okay so let's save it to five pixels for now and let's see what happens okay now you have a little rounded corners here okay now if i change the value to 10 pixels it will be even more rounder okay bigger the value the more rounded the corners are going to be if i make it 20 pixels it's going to be even more rounder okay here i hope that this was clear now uh, you can uh, Try those, uh, practice uh, just the way you want. After border, another thing is outline. Now, similarly, for outline also, if I do not define the style, I won't get the outline, okay? Uh, style is the most important property, just like border. If we style not define the style, we won't get the output. We will outline nahi dekhega, okay? But here, I am just going to be using the shorthand property. Again, I will uh, define a border of, Oh, sorry the outline solid of three pixels and the color i want it to be steel blue let's save this okay now you can see that my outline is also rounded at the corners 
if I remove this border radius property. Okay, let's save this. You will see that with the border, the outline will also straighten up. Okay, so if the border is straightened up, the outline will also straighten up. If the border has rounded corners, the outline will also have rounded corners. So, in short, outline takes the shape of the border. Okay, also for this, I can... Uh, uh, define separately also outline um, style outline width outline color or we can just use the shorthand property okay uh, next last thing that we have to see is the outline offset uh, for outline offset it uh, uh, imparts the distance or the gap between the border and the outline so we'll set it to be 5 pixels let's save this Okay, so we have some gap between our uh, border and the outline. Now for outline, we cannot define the outline for just one side. Like I cannot have an outline only for the bottom or for the left or for the right. No, we cannot do that. Okay, we will uh, have to uh, define it for all four sides. There's nothing known as outline border, uh, bottom or uh, outline top or anything like that. There's no property as such. I can show you. See. There is no property like this. See, the outline has gone altogether. Okay. So, there is uh, there's no defining the uh, outline for any one side. We have to define the outline for all four sides. Okay. But now, what if I uh, choose this to be as the border bottom? Let's see what happens to the outline now. Okay. See? The outline will be for all four sides, even if the border is only been set for one side. Okay, so I hope that this was clear about the border as well as the outline. If you have liked my video, please uh, give it a like and uh, share it with as many people as you can. Uh, subscribe to my channel and if you have any suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.